How many votes did it take to get rid of the oral boards? <laughs> Very few, actually. The, there were many discussions that went on. I mean, we loved the oral boards. The, it was a great time, the, the camaraderie, to meet your friends coming from all over the country, uh, to engage in a process that we firmly believed, and I still do, helps improve the quality of health care, the quality of radiology practiced in the country. People studied for those board exams. It was a rite of passage. Uh, I'm sure they learned things. One of the problems, however, is that they were often learning, they were memorizing things, that it was not durable learning. They would memorize things that they could retain for a few weeks, but not for the rest of their lives. So it wasn't as good as many people thought, but it was a very positive experience for the examiners. In fact, we'd go to that, we'd spend a week in Louisville at a two-star hotel. Uh, food was not easy to find, usually took a long cab ride. It's not noted for its great cuisine. It was right next to the airport. You'd hear the planes landing at all times of day and night. Uh, and at the end of the week, you'd be a little tired and you'd say, gee whiz, was this really worth it? You'd go home. You'd kind of forget uh, the negative parts and remember the camaraderie and the mission, and you look forward to the, to the next year. Uh, it was difficult to end that. And yet I think when people thought about uh, the negative aspects of that exam, they knew we need to make the change.